Okay, so uh, good morning, my dear legendary finalists, finalist students. Today we are going to start uh, a new topic. Already we already yesterday we discussed it. So this is Krishna H O D of Jawadish University College. Now I am going to start uh, uh, respiratory organs. But ma, today we are going to respiratory organs, discussing about what is respiration. Already told you. Okay, respiration means uh, to inhalation of what happened ma? To inhalation of oxygen into respiratory organs to the exhalation of uh, uh, what ma? Carbon dioxide from outside. That is called uh, respiration or inspiring of oxygen into respiratory organs from environment to respiratory organs from respiratory organs to the carbon dioxide to um, that means expiration is called uh, what ma? respiration. So this is very very important. Huh? Now each and every animal you should take uh, from protozoan to mammals from protozoan to mammals. So what ma? So which type of uh, uh, organs, the, which organs, respiratory organs means what? Today we are going to discuss the board. So I think board is visible. Respiratory organs. Respiratory organs. Respiratory organs. Respiratory organs means what? Respiratory organs means what definition? What ma? For example, so which organs are responsible for respiration? Which organs are responsible for which organs? What ma? Which organs are which organs are responsible for a respiration? That organs are called respiratory organs. Respiratory organs are there. So sir, what correctly the sir? My confusion. Okay, sir. Now visible. Okay, now visible, Rajita. Okay. So I would like to write uh, big size, big letters. Okay. Okay, sir. Yes. Uh, respiratory organs is nothing but. What ma? Which organs are responsible for? Which organs are responsible for for the respiration? That organs are called uh, what ma? So that is respiratory organs. What type of respiratory organs are they? So mainly, see uh, now. Now I would like to go to protozoa. Okay, in protozoa. Protozoa. Okay. In protozoa, what type of respiratory organs are there actually, right? So in protozoa, remembering one thing, in protozoa, okay, in protozoa, protozoa is a unicellular, unicellular organisms. Unicellular organism means what man? Unicellular organisms means okay. These protozoans which are having a single cell, which are having single cell, so the single cell is there, there is no respiratory organs. But how to take off uh, these protozoans which are takes respiration? Right, uh, very important thing. So, for example, we should take uh, amoeba or paramecium. Amoeba or paramecium, we should take. Uh, which type of respiration is there in these animals? Okay, amoeba and paramecium is the freshwater animals. They are the freshwater animals, but how to take space of these animals for the respiration? For example, this protozoan is a single cell organism. Now, so how to take space of these uh, amoeba and paramecium takes place of respiration? So, what is respiration already told you, right? For example, this amoeba and paramecium, which are living in the fresh water, which are living in the fresh water, what already told you, already told you, what is uh, meant by respiration? So, uh, the environmental oxygen is entered into the body, 
and from body to of carbon dioxide to be removed outside. Okay, inhalation, nothing bad. For example, the oxygen which is present in the water, the oxygen which is enters into amoeba, the oxygen which is enters into what ma? Paramecium body. Okay, how the oxygen which is enters? The oxygen which is enters into how? And same vice versa, the carbon dioxide also, carbon dioxide also removed from body to outside. Okay, so already told you what is my inhalation means, uh, inspiration means uh, the water, uh, that means environmental oxygen which is enters into uh, environmental to body is called inspiration. And uh, after metabolic activity, the carbon dioxide should be formed. That carbon dioxide which is removed from body to outside. That is called expiration. That is called what my expiration. Right? You know very well. Already told you. Now, see uh, what my here, which is uh, which mechanism takes place in this fresh water? Paramecium and amoeba. So that is uh, especially for in protozoan. So the mainly the principle is diffusion what man the principle is diffusion d i f f u s i n diffusion diffusion is very very important so in protozoa very 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 important protozoa uh, that means porifera and cylindrata and echinodermata once i repeat protozoa porifera cylindrata and echinodermata animals Echinodermata animals directly they the respiration takes place by uh, the principle that is called diffusion. What is diffusion? Come on, tell me. What is diffusion means ma? For example, so what ma? The high concentration of oxygen molecules moves 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 towards from the water to body. So, for example, in the body, there is no carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide level is low. And water, oxygen level is high. In the water, oxygen level is high. In that condition, what happened, ma? So, already told you. What is diffusion? The high concentration of the molecule, whatever it may be. High concentration of the oxygen molecules which are moved from, from water to cytoplasm of the body. Okay, and vice versa, same. After metabolic activity, the carbon dioxide level is increased in the cytoplasm. Why same vice versa? See, the carbon dioxide level is increased in the metabolic activity. In that after metabolic activity, the carbon dioxide moves from cytoplasm to outside. Okay, that is called expiration. Inspiration and expiration. Inhalation and exhalation. So, that is the same phenomena takes place in paramecium also. Once I repeat, uh, what ma? For example, what is the command? Tell me. See, uh, the honey band, paramecium, and protozoans, oriferans, and cylindridans, okay, and uh, echinodermatans, which are takes place the respiration process by the diffusion principle. Diffusion principles means what ma? So, uh, what diffusion, for example, high concentration of the molecules moves towards, high concentration of the molecules moves towards from the high concentration to lower con concentration. So, uh, without help of any cell membrane. Okay, that is called diffusion. Here, what concentration molecules? Oxygen is high, con high molecules are there. These oxygen molecules are rich molecules there in the water. And then compared to cytoplasm of the cell, right? In that condition, the rich oxygen molecules, uh, which are moves towards from water to body and vice versa, same the after metabolic activity, the carbon dioxide also moves towards from cytoplasm of the cell to outside. That is called uh, what ma? protozoa. And what the same example, protozoa, porifera, cylindrata, and echinodermata, these animals which are responsible for respiration is done by the principle is diffusion. The principle is diffusion. Now, next one, I already told you, once I repeat, uh, what ma? So, here, protozoa, next, porifera, okay, next, cylindrata, cylindrata, nothing but, nidaria, nidaria, okay, 
for example protozoa example amoeba paramecium and porifera example sponges porifera example sponges okay and cylindrata example cylindrata example hydra hydra okay and uh, uh, next echinodermata what ma echinodermata echinodermata animals this echinodermata example starfish starfish okay so because of in echinodermata what ma umbilical system what ma umbilical system is there umbru umbrulacral system is present umbrulacral system or water vascular system is there what ma water vascular system is present water vascular system is present so in this animals which are takes place the, the process of respiration come on tell me the respiration process takes place that is diffusion what ma diffusion very very important diffusion right so this is very very important okay now clear once another bit diffusion means diffusion means the oxygen molecules which are moved from rich that means high concentration to lower concentration of the cell lower concentration of the body right same vice versa okay in the lungs also takes place same man. from uh, uh, that means lungs to blood stream uh, blood stream to blood stream to cell cell to blood stream same vice versa diffusion also takes place remember one thing in our body also diffusion takes place but mainly respiratory organs lungs are there we'll, we'll discussing about later right now okay porifera is completed cylindrata is completed and uh, uh, echinodermata what ma sorry echinodermata is completed now uh, platyhelminthes 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 animals which are how to take place of respiration and nematyhelminthes okay these platyhelminthes nematyhelminthes animals which are so doesn't have any respiratory organs doesn't have any respiratory organs because of they are they are what my parasites they are parasites so completely they are depending upon the host okay the platyhelminthes nematyhelminthes animals which are uh, what man doesn't have any respiratory organs but with they are the but uh, you have one doubt but there is no respiration how they can survive sir okay you already asked the question okay now there is no respiration how they can survive because of the completely uh, living in the parasitic nature years of years months of months right so they have a capability for the parasitic adaptation they have a capability for the parasitic adaptation the parasitic adaptation especially for they can survive by aerobic uh, that means uh, anaerobic respiration okay what respiration ma anaerobic respiration for example amoeba aerobic respiration Paramecium aerobic respiration, sponges aerobic respiration, mammals are aerobic respiration, so fishes are aerobic respiration. But this, those animals are which are living in the parasitic nature, that animals are completely takes place of aerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration. Anaerobic respiration, nothing but for example, so they can produce energy without oxygen. They can produce energy without oxygen. They can survive without oxygen also. How? Because of the respiration is mainly two types of uh, based upon the uh, oxygen with, with, with oxygen without oxygen. With oxygen, that respiration is called aerobic respiration. Okay. Now we are going to discuss. We are going to discussing about that one. And uh, without oxygen, they can survive. Without oxygen, the respiration is called anaerobic respiration. Right. Uh, so with oxygen, uh, the respiration to produces more ATP energy. Without oxygen, so what happened ma? The respiration to produces less amount of the, that means only 280. For example, in plants, one glucose to be oxidized, 
one glucose to be oxidized. I already told you in previous semester. One glucose should be oxidized. What happened, ma? To produce as okay. That means forty ATP is and uh, without uh, net nothing but thirty eight. But whereas in plants, uh, thirty eight ATP is there and net thirty six. Whereas whereas anaerobic respiration animals, okay. So anaerobic respiration only four ATP is net to two ATP is. That two ATP is are they are to be glycis. Okay, na very very important, ma. You must be remember that one. Now. Next one, next one. Plant element is completed. The mat element is completed, right? Okay. And uh, what ma? Next anilida. Next what ma? Anilida. Anilida example earthworm. Anilida example earthworm. Okay. So very very important. How the anilidans which are specially for uh, takes place of respiration. For example, okay, in earthworm, what ma? In earthworm, so especially for these anelidans, the earthworm which is uh, surface of the body, that means cutaneous respiration ma. So that means dorsal side, dorsal side, uh, you know very well. The dorsal side, okay, that means uh, uh, you know very well. So the the skin is very wet in condition. Skin is wet in condition. Skin always wet. Why? Because why? Because okay. Ah, uh, for example, this earthworm. The earthworm. Okay. Now how the earthworm skin is always wet in condition. Okay. Number one. The earthworm, the anil earthworm takes place of which respiration? That is called a cutaneous respiration. Ma. Cutaneous respiration. Cutaneous respiration means what? So, which animals? That means uh, which animals are to respire with the help of uh, skin? That type of respiration is called a cutaneous respiration, right? Next. So, cutaneous respiration means the skin is always wet in condition. That's why the earthworm takes place of respiration, cutaneous respiration. But how always the earthworm skin is wet? Come on, tell me. Anybody can say. So because of see uh, here dors uh, that means dorsal pores are present. What ma? Dorsal pores are present. And number one and uh, what ma? So here the coelomic fluid, the coelomic fluid which is comes. The coelomic fluid, which is comes from, okay, from uh, uh, that means uh, sejo coelom two, sejo coelom two, which is comes outside. In that condition, number one condition, the skin is always wet. Number one point. Number two point. Okay, and the skin which contains mucus gland. Okay, so the skin which contains what more mucus glands. So these mucus glands, very important thing. These mucus glands to secrete some mucin. These mucus glands to secrete some mucus. And number one, so the earthworm takes place of uh, what a cutaneous respiration. Number one, number uh, that means uh, how the skin is cutaneous respiration. That means always the skin is wet in condition. So number two conditions are there. The skin is too wet in condition. Always wet, right? So because the first condition. So the dorsal dorsal pores are there through the dorsal pores. The coelomic fluid which is comes outside. The coelomic fluid which is comes outside. That's why what happened? Ma, skin is always wet. Number two, what happened? Ma, number two condition. So always the skin is which contains mucus. The mucus which is secrete the mucus mucus gland to secrete the mucin. That's why the skin is always wet in condition. So this wet. Always the dorsal side wet in condition of the skin, na, which is responsible for the respiration of cutaneous respiration. Here, which principle involving here again? The principle is called diffusion. What ma? Cutaneous respiration takes place, of course. What principle involving here? Okay, here the organ is cutaneous. That organ is skin. Na. The skin is responsible for the respiratory organs in the uh, earthworm. That is skin only. That's why it is cutaneous. But what principle involved here? Diffusion. 
okay what my command will for example for example see so oxygen is outside so the oxygen which is present in the environment the environmental oxygen which is enters into body okay through the wet wet skin to the principle of diffusion after metabolic activity vice versa carbon dioxide also removed outside from the body clouds that is called then here the media okay the diffusion principle takes place but respiration is called cutaneous respiration principle involving diffusion okay so very very important about this earth warm respiration once i repeat anida especially cutaneous respiration cutaneous respiration nothing but that is respiration that is respiratory organs skin okay now the skin is uh, how to involve the skin is always wet because of mucus glands because of uh, uh, that means sialomic so fluid the principle involving division the high concentration of the molecule from environment to a uh, body uh, and low, that means after metabolic activity the carbon dioxide which is moved from body to outside through the diffusion principle of through the skin that is cutaneous respiration here yeah? so this is a uh, important about okay anida now i would like to go next uh, next one <coughs> After Anlida, next what ma? Arthropoda. Arthropoda. Arthropoda animals. The phylum Arthropoda animals, what type of respiration is this place? Very important thing. Here, Arthropodans, okay, mainly, for example, okay, here Arthropodans, what type of uh, book lungs are they? Book gills are book gills are the number one point. Few of the animals, few of the arthropods, especially for uh, okay. Um, so these book gills, book gills are respiratory organs in the arthropoda. Which animals are to respire with help of book gills? The book gills which is present in uh, the book gills which is present in the uh, so limulus. What ma? Lumulus, that is a yeah, king crab. It's also called what ma? King crab. The king crab. The example, book gills are which is present in the limulus, that is also known as, uh, okay, common name is called king crab, scientific name is called limulus. So, limulus, which contains a book gills, where a spire, inspiration of oxygen, and expiration of carbon dioxide with the help of book gills. Right, that is very important. Now, next one, one more organs are the that is called book lungs. Okay, book lungs are there. So, this book lungs, uh, what which animals which are having book lungs? So, number one, spider. Number one, what must spider? You know very well the spider. Next one, scorpion. Scorpion, okay. This uh, spider and scorpion, which contains uh, book lungs, book lungs are the the book lungs are which are present in the spider and scorpion, which are the very important thing in this for the respiration. Next, uh, ex next one, what happened, ma? So uh, that means uh, tracheal respiration. Tracheal respiration, very very important. Tracheal respiration is there. Tracheal respiration, okay now. So tracheal respiration means what? Okay, tracheal, tracheal, tracheal respiration, tracheal respiration. This tracheal respiration, so tracheas are present. Okay, now tracheas are present. Uh, okay, for example, this is the trachea. This is a okay. So tracheas are they the tracheal pores which are uh, uh, which are open into outside through the lateral side pores are there. So these tracheals, trachea is present. Okay, what my trachea tracheal respiration nothing but. Which animals are which are takes place of respiration with the help of trachea? Which animals 
the animals are called uh, what happened ma insects okay all insects takes place which respiration tracheal respiration very very important very very important okay now so clear so this is called a tracheal respiration and book gills limulus book lungs spider and cork scorpion and tracheal respiration examples of all insects are which are uh, takes place what ma so this is a uh, arthropods respiratory organs Okay, now I would like to go. Okay, next word, ma. Mollusca. Molluscans. What type of respiration is there? Molluscans. Okay, here in the mollusca mainly. Okay, so number one, that means a cutaneous respiration. Cutaneous respiration. And uh, tinnidias also there. Tinnidia. Tinnidias are there. And uh, gills are there. Gills are there. So these are all the respiratory organs in the mollusca. For example, cutaneous respiration. Cutaneous respiration takes place in phyla. Okay. What ma? Phyla globosa. Phyla globosa. In phyla, gills are responsible for the respiration. And tinnitus also takes place for the respiration, right? So, in molluscans, example phyla, I am giving that. Okay, what type of respiration? Ma? Today, respiration takes place. What are the organs? What are the respiratory organs are there in the mollusca? Especially, example phyla, today, respiration, especially for skin. And uh, tinnitus and uh, gills are there. That means branchial respiration takes place. So, this is a molluscans respiratory organs now next one echinodermata already told you what type of echinodermata there is no respiratory uh, echinodermata already given echinodermata mainly the diffusion principle involving further diffusion because of uh, the echinodermatans which are directly the echinodermatans which are what ma uh, echinodermatans which are directly which are present in the water that's why what happened ma so here Okay, umbilical system, water vascular system is present. So that's why these uh, example starfish, okay, remaining a uh, what ma? Uh, echinodermata, I would like to. Echinodermata animals. Water, especially for uh, okay, water vascular system. Water vascular system is involving for the Okay, respiration. The principle is what ma diffusion. The principle is what ma diffusion. But very, very, very important. Uh, so many times asked in the entrance level. So neat level, group one level, group two level. So so many times asked the question. So what the question? What ask the question? So that means uh, sea cucumbers. Sea cucumber animal. The sea cucumber animals, what happened ma? So, doesn't have particularly the, uh, that means which is having particular respiratory organs are the, that is called very, very important. That is called, the sea cucumbers which is having directly, the respiratory organs is called respiratory, respiratory trees. What ma? Respiratory trees are there. Respiratory trees are which is present in the what happened ma? Sea cucumber. In the sea cucumber, remember in one thing. Respiratory trees. Okay. So, what type of uh, uh, respiratory organs are there in this what ma? Sea cucumber. That is respiratory trees are there. Very, very, very important. Okay. Na? Clear? 
okay now ethernet dermata is completed now okay so what happened ma let us uh, we'll go to hemi core data hemi core data okay hemi core data the hemi core data belano glosses animal that is specially uh, glassoparyngeal gills are there already we discussed glassoparyngeal gills are responsible for respiration okay next we will go to vertebrata we will go to vertebrata right so what is vertebrata for example see vertebrata fishes okay so fishes having what ma fishes having a uh, what type of uh, that means uh, fishes have gills okay in these fishes what happen ma very important uh, dipnoid fishes dipnoid fishes uh, dipnoid fishes which is having uh, gills and lungs also gills and lungs very very important fishes having gills uh, that means branchial respiration fishes having gills that is called branchial respiration but whereas in dipnoid fishes what happen ma gills are there lungs are there so according to roma the dipnoid fish is also called uh, so it is uncles of amphibians uncles of amphibians so then after uh, dipnoid fishes amphibians are there okay amphibians okay amphibians of dipnoid fishes gills respiration is there okay next one amphibians these amphibians what type of respiration is there these amphibians okay these amphibians which contains examples frogs example frogs are there these frogs which are which respiration ma the uh, respiratory organs that is lungs are there number 1 number 2 skin is present number 3 what happened ma so here pharyngeal respiration also there pharyngeal respiration also there okay that means uh, okay uh, not pharyngeal sorry uh, buccal cavity respiration okay buccal cavity buccal cavity respiration right so this amphibian specially for frogs frogs are which are having respiratory organs lungs skin and buccal cavity is there okay if this amphibians which are lungs are there that respiration is called pulmonary respiration what ma pulmonary respiration pulmonary respiration that is lungs okay and the skin is present majorly so the skin is present that's why it is called uh, cutaneous respiration cutaneous respiration and buccal cavity is there buccal cavity respiration okay these three types of respiration is there in the amphibians right mainly the skin is involved in same already told what we are when uh, in alida so frog also same mucus glands are there skin glands are there the skin glands are modified into mucus glands the skin that's why the frog always the skin is wet in condition it is responsible for to inspire the oxygen from the environment to body and remove the carbon dioxide from body to outside whereas in same earthworm and uh, what happened ma in uh, skin uh, frog also the frog skin uh, okay and earthworm or dorsal tail skin we are coated with coated with wax immediately the frog and earthworm is going to die earthworm is going to die so many times asked the question in the neat level in the group one level in uh, or whatever it may be any pg entrance level whatever it may be any level the last the question for example the earthworm or frog is coated with uh, wax of the complete the skin uh, the earthworm is going to die earthworm is going to dancing earthworm going to uh, stable so which is right the earthworm is going to die because of completely earthworm and skin that means frog which are completely depends upon the cutaneous respiration that is amphibians now let us uh, okay so amphibians completed now uh, reptiles what ma 
reptiles reptiles what type of the respiration is there reptiles which is having what ma the reptiles also which is having lungs are there the reptiles also which is having lungs that's why pulmonary pulmonary respiration pulmonary respiration that is one of the important and uh, okay and uh, what ma after reptiles birds birds okay already we discussed it. so birds also which is having what ma the birds also which is having okay the birds also which is having what happened ma so birds also which is having uh, not lungs uh, especially for uh, nine hair sacs are present what ma nine hair sacs are present sir so these hair sacs are responsible for hair sacs and lungs Air sacs and lungs are present in the birds. That's why the pulmonary respiration takes place in the birds also. Okay. That is one of the thing. Now, what happened, ma? So, in mammals, in mammals, okay, in mammals, in mammals, what type of respiration? Here also, here also, what happened, ma? Here also lungs are responsible for the, here also lungs are responsible for the re, uh, respiratory organs for the respiration. That is called pulmonary respiration. Pulmonary respiration is there. Very, very important. So this is the important about uh, total evolution of uh, completely uh, respiratory organs from protozoa to mammals. Remembering one thing, very, very important thing. Now, so what, uh, come on tell me ma, for example, what type of respiration is there? We'll explain now. Uh, see, what type of respiration is there? Okay, so see in a, uh, uh, totally, uh, we already discussed a uh, protozoa to mammals, right? So, uh, based upon this principle, based upon the organs, for example, mainly, how many types of respiration is there? Number one, pulmonary respiration. Number two, cutaneous respiration. Number three, uh, tracheal respiration. Number four, tracheal respiration. Number five, and buccal respiration. Number six, buccal lungs are and diffusion. These are the types of respiration is there. Okay, Bronch that means the pulmonary respiration. Pulmonary respiration means what already we discussed. Which animals are to respire the uh, oxy, uh, respiration takes place with the help of the lungs. That type of animals are called uh, pulmonary respiration animals. Example, pulmonary respiration common dilemma, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and moments. These are all called uh, pulmonary respiratory animals. Next, uh, cutaneous respiration. Cutaneous respiration. Cutaneous respiration means what? Ma? <coughs> cutaneous respiration. So the respiration takes place with the skin. Come on, tell me any example. Any example? Skin. Which animals are taking? Frog. Come on, tell me. Frog. Sir. Uh -huh. frog. Very good. A very good. Excellent answer, Mr. and Rajita. So very much. Thank you very much. So this. Earthworms and frogs are which are takes place of cutaneous respiration. For example, very important. Okay, of course. Next one, branchial respiration. Branchial respiration, the cutaneous respiration, earthworm, frog, <coughs> phyla also. What man? Phyla also. Right. Next, bronchial respiration. Branchial respiration, nothing but which animals are which are takes the place of respiration with the help of gills. Gills example fishes, okay, and uh, tinidia that means so molluscans, few of the molluscans, and uh, very very important uh, frog tadpole larvae. But ma, frog tadpole larvae is important for the branchial respiration. Next, tracheal respiration. Come on, tell me. So tracheal respiration, the respiration takes place through the trachea. Ah, come on, tell me example of tracheal respiration. Tracheal respiration example. <clears throat> Already given. Tracheal respiration example. Arthropoda, 
that is uh, all insects but ma all insects are takes place the tracheal respiration help of trachea next to uh, which animals book gills which animals having respiratory organs book gills come on tell me anybody limulus limulus sir very excellent answer excellent. king crab limulus. limulus that is called king crab the king crab so next one book lungs book lungs example sir scorpion yes scorpion and spider is there spider yes yes okay very good so this is a uh, different examples are there in the now now i would like to uh, now to uh, respiration in uh, pulmonary respiration respiratory system respiratory organs in man that means mammal so the respiratory in uh, a man we are going to discussing about uh, so the man respiratory organ that is lungs that is lungs are there okay what are the respiratory organs are there how the respiratory mechanism is there so what ma'am respiration nothing but to inhalation of oxygen into body respiratory organs to exhalation of carbon dioxide from respiratory organ to outside what are the which slightly we discuss it today and tomorrow we'll discuss in the more in detail what are the respiratory organs in the, what are the respiratory organs in man so mainly what are the man respiratory system man respiratory system that is what are the lungs are there pulmonary respiration what is the respiratory tract respiratory tract uh, come on tell me for example this what is my respiratory tract uh, uh, from that means uh, outside outside here that means oxygen okay the oxygen which is come on tell me we are come on tell me breathing right what is this what is external nostrils ah very good external nostrils nostrils external nostrils are there right and then what uh, what is the ma here nasal cavity is present what beta nasal cavity is present okay what are the important uh, external nostrils okay then nasal cavity then internal nostrils okay then okay what ma you what is this pharynx pharynx okay then what ma model so larynx larynx mm. then trachea trachea very good trachea. lungs so then that means uh, these are the points uh, larynx and trachea and these are the tracheal points uh, the lung points and a uh, uh, primary bronchi then secondary bronchi bronchus and the tertiary bronchus and the next one all v o Thanks. All VO light. All VO light. Okay. So these are the important uh, all VO light. So uh, this totally what the respiration means just the respiration. Oxygen is enters outside oxygen is enters into external nostrils, nasal cavity, internal nostrils, pharynx, larynx, trachea, and uh, what ma primary bronchi secondary bronchi tertiary bronchi alveoli okay that is called inspiration will will giving a later I'll explain what how the mechanism will take place then alveoli to tertiary bronchi carbon dioxide after metabolic activity carbon to tertiary bronchi to secondary bronchi secondary bronchi to primary bronchi primary bronchi to trachea trachea to larynx larynx to pharynx Pharynx to internal nostrils, internal nostrils to nasal nasal cavity, nasal cavity to external nostrils, external nostrils to outside. What we can call it? It is called what ma? Expiration. It is also called what ma? Expiration. So what is inspiration? So this is called inspiration. This is called inspiration. Inspiration nothing but 
what my inspiration nothing but so environmental hair environmental oxygen which is inhale inhale to respiratory organs that is called inspiration so after metabolic activity the to exhale the carbon dioxide from uh, respiratory organs to outside that is called expiration come on tell me what is uh, already given so what is my expiration and inspiration and expiration is called what external respiration external respiration remembering one thing already given yesterday yeah okay so this is a uh, is wonderful uh, uh, topic about uh, respiration tomorrow we'll discussing about uh, a respiratory tract uh, respiratory system of man and uh, transport of oxygen transport of carbon dioxide and how the controlling of uh, respiratory system respiration process takes place okay we'll discussing about tomorrow okay thank you very much for your uh, kindly supporting to in this uh, one hour session thank you very much i respect your time i respect your attitude i respect your uh, commitment thank you very much this is krishna hod of jewelry so uh, sri vasavi degree college so uh, and i am going to uh, putting on this video in the youtube and please subscribe and share and comment thank you very much